Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this short, sharp video, I'm just gonna talk through some new features that have been released as public preview from Snowflake as part of Snowsight, Snowflake's next generation web UI that replaced the classic console quite a few months ago now. So I hope you find this video useful. My name's Adam Morton, and I've written a couple of books on Snowflake. I've also been lucky enough to speak in front of my peers on a number of occasions. I've lived and worked in the UK, Europe, and Australia during my career, and today, I'm on a mission to help as many people as I can fulfill their career potential by adding as much value as I can around data strategy and modern cloud data platforms. So now I'm in Snowflake and logged into Snowsite. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is just open a worksheet here. Now notice along the top, I now have a plus button where I can have a SQL or Python worksheets. And it says preview over here. So if I hover over there, it says worksheet tabs is a feature in public preview now. So the main difference is I can click a plus now. They recently introduced Python worksheets. So I can click that and add a Python worksheet and it gives you um, a few little helpful tips here. So it tells you that the Snowpark package is required for Python worksheets and it gives you the a little template there to start you off. And so that's really helpful. Um, notice though this Preview now, the public preview has the tabs now side by side where previously it was just one tab at a time, which is really handy to keep multiple tabs open um, at any one time. So really helpful, helps for your productivity, it just stops you from having to go back and forth and selecting different worksheets all of the time. So really good um, update there. If I go back into the home and if I go to data, databases, I'm gonna go into demo um, public stages and I'm going to click this stage which is um, point out at AWS S3 storage location. I'm going to enable these directory tables. Now this goes off and is enabled to index all of your files that you have within that external name stage. I'm going to click that because this is the first time I'm doing it. It's went off, it's scanned that and then we can actually see the data that I've got in here. Now um, it says here, open feature documentation and new tabs. So let's just click this. Oops, look at this, can't be found. So it's saying, do you want to go here? Now, it's taking me to a link for visualizing data with dashboards. But let me show you the link that it should take you to. So let's help it out a little bit by providing the proper URL. So this is it. It's a um, preview feature. Staging files from a local file system using Snow Sites. So now you can... Use Snowsite to load files from named internal stages. Really, really handy if you're a data analyst or data scientist and you need to self-serve and get data into like an analytical sandbox for analysis within Snowflake. How do you do that if you need to upload or your, or your data is already available in a stage? So basically you can you know go through and set up your stage um, and if you're interested in looking into that, you can uh, look at one of my previous videos in terms of loading data. I'll put a link up, up in the, the top anyway, so you can work it out. So, so a couple of important points about this. When you're using an external stage, notice if I try to do anything here, like remove or download, you can only do that on internal stages, not external. Similarly, you can upload files now um, from your local machine via the Snowsite web UI into an internal stage within Snowflake only, not an external stage. In summary, it's really great to see these features, these new features um, getting put into Snowsite now to really help data engineers and data science users easily manage their data um, and their files between Snowflake and customer managed storage locations and do it completely um, visually within the web UI itself. Um, so yeah, so you can browse folders and files that you've got on external and internal stages, as you can see here. You can download or upload local files between internal stages by the web UI only. So I hope you find that useful. Just a quick short chart video on some of the new features that we've got in Snowsight.